think 10 years ago that Americans and American based companies and, and people in Europe, when they think of Asia, they think of uh, China and India. But now ASEAN's relevance is becoming clearer. If you told me 13 years ago when I started this airline that we'd have an ASEAN economic community in 2016, I would have laughed at you. Um, I think an enormous amount of work has been done. Uh, but <clears throat> obviously a businessman and entrepreneur is always looking for more. But I'm optimistic because uh, if I take an airline analogy, we're on, we're on a taxiway. I think we've, you know, we weren't even at the airport before. So, look, at least we have a framework now to build on and we can start pushing for liberalization, we start pushing for ASEAN institutions, whether it's a stock market, whether it's a common work visa, you know, freedom of labor, etc. Um, it gives me a platform to build on. For AirAsia, I'm hoping that uh, a community will help reduce cost by having common standards, one air traffic control system, one engineering system, uh, one standards, and obviously open skies, and true open skies. You know, and common ownership. As an ASEAN company, why can't I own 100% of a Filipino airline? Um, and a Filipino can own 100% of a Malaysian carrier. That I think is what I'll be pushing for. It's hard to be a global brand from a country like Malaysia. But we become relevant because we're in a 700 million market. So I always said to my guys, why, why worry about China and India? Let's build a bigger business and then we become relevant. And then we become more relevant to China and India because we're in a 700 million market. So ASEAN definitely gives you a much bigger platform and a much bigger stage to be noticed. There's 700 million people here. If you can't get a business to work with 700 million people, then you've got a problem. You've got to get the right, the right economic model. You've got, to, you've got to get a product that people want. But you've got a big advantage when you have 700 million people in your marketplace. Consumption is there. And as long as you adjust your cost structure and provide a product that people want, I'm not worried about what happens around the rest of the world. There's always business to be done.